Hi guys, quick video here. Um, I've got this uh, little Philips vintage radio picked up. Um, it's a Philips 380 and um, I'd like to take it home and listen to my local radio station. Now the problem is, this has been very very old. If you look at the tuning scale there, the FM band only covers 88 megs to 104 megs maximum. Um, now the problem is my local radio station, High Peak Radio, is actually on 106.40 but the radio only tunes up to 104 megs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to extend the tuning range to make it tune up to about 107 megs. So we cover the local radio station and uh, I'm going to show you um, in this video um, a quick method which you can find how to do it without causing any more damage so I'll just stop the camera a minute right, just turn the radio on uh, now that's I think that's set to about 103 megs if we turn the you see in radio we call the end of a piece the here. tail which seems very active As you can see there, there's nothing, nothing really above that. They certainly can't pick up right high peak radio because that's 104. So what we're going to do is we're going to retune the radio so high peak radio appears on the dial at 104 megs. Uh, now there's a what all the all you do is you tune the local oscillator, the FM local oscillator, so the radio covers a, um, a different range. Now the downside, I'll just turn that off. The downside is to this. Um, we increase the tuning range here further up the band we're going to lose the lower band but I'm not bothered about that because I only want to listen to high peak radio on 106.40 so at the moment it tunes 88 megs to 104 um, after we've modified it it's going to tune 91 megs to 107 which will bring in um, the frequency I want now I'm going to show you how it's done I'll just stop the video again Right, okay, I've got the radio apart. Um, so what we're going to need for this, we're going to need a small capacitor about 10 PF um, and a crocodile clip connecting to an earth. Now, I put the earth on the speaker here because you can see a wire there is connected to one of the IF cans and it's just more convenient. So what you do is you take your capacitor. Um, if you look at the tuning capacitor here, there's four trimmers. Um, three of the, It's a three-band radio, so three of the local oscillators and the other one won't be used. So what we do... As you take your capacitor, which is connected to earth, you touch it onto one of these pins at a time and see which one throws the radio off frequency. Now, whichever one of these that throws it off frequency, you adjust the screw that's connected to there, which is the local oscillator frequency. Now, don't worry, if you haven't got a 10 PF capacitor, I'll show you another trick in a minute. So I'll just stop the camera a minute while we turn the radio on. Right, just put the camera down there. So I'll turn the radio on. Uh, I'm not just sure what that is, which sounds a bit like classical FM. Right, so here you go. Touch that onto these capacitors and turn. So pull on there, that's done nothing. Put it on there, that doesn't do anything. Ah, now put it on that one. You see the radio's gone off. So that screw there, that is the local oscillator frequency for the FM band. Right, I'm just going to stop the camera again a minute. Now, as I've already said, let's just move over here where it's a bit quieter. Um, if you haven't got a 10pf capacitor, just make one up. A couple of bits of wire. Bear the ends off, a couple of bits of insulated wire, and just twist them together to make a capacitor. Right, so there we go, there's a homemade capacitor. Um, you can do this at home, you don't need any electronics uh, skills to do this. Just two bits of insulated wire, twist it together a few times, and bear the ends off. You put one clip onto there, which is the earth, and then use this other end to touch to stop the local oscillator, uh, to move the local oscillator frequency. So I'll do the same test again.
Touch that one, nothing happens. Touch that one, nothing happens. See, nothing happens there, nothing happens there. Touch that one, and the radio's gone off frequency. So that now tells you that that screw there, that is the local oscillator frequency for the FM, FM band. Now all we need to do is turn that with a screwdriver very gently and that will change the, um, the, the top frequency band that this radio can pick up. Right, so here we go, we've got a plastic trimming tool. Just stick that in there like that. I'm going to turn this now until we can pick up IP radio. And there we go, that's High Peak Radio tuned in. Right, there you go. So, if you look at the scale now, um, it says 104, but we're actually tuned in now to High Peak Radio. See where there was nothing there before now. We've got High Peak Radio. Well, we had no stations on 104. We've actually got high peak radio on 106.40. So that's the way that you get your your old vintage radio to tune into a different channel. And if we move that back, uh, that's the downside. It used to be 88 to 104, but now it's about 91 to 107. Well guys, thanks for watching and um, subscribe for more videos.